So, welcome back. Once again, it's time to tie a video and uh, um, in this video I intend to do uh, the butcher salma fly. I'm going to tie it in two videos. So in this video I start with the body. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's a nice fishing pattern I'll, uh, fly I like. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so here we are. So I uh, attached the gute to the hook and also back down to where we start to tie in the, the tinsel. So let me see if I have a tinsel here. Lucky enough I did. Let me see. So tying that one in. This is going to be quite a large um, frame fly. So the intention is not to fish with it, it's going to end up in a frame. I tie on a 6 0 partridge hook. It's quite large. And I noticed in the soft boxes I just procured. Uh, there's a fan in each uh, LED light. <laughs> Sorry for that. I need to get new uh, lamps. But anyhow, I'm gonna put on some music here later when I edit the video. So there we are. So extra small silver tinsel in the back. I did four turns. And there we are. So make sure it's secure. Now it's secure. Cutting the leftovers. Make sure it's tight. And then I need to hunt for silk. But first, I'm gonna build up the, the foundation for the silk to sit on. Today is St. Patrick's Day uh, for all the Irish viewers. Uh, so I need to go and get myself a Guinness. And there we are. So there I want to tie in the, the silk. So I got myself a Guinness. So I'm going to attach the. Uh, we're going to have yellow silk. Here, so I'm just gonna attach it and tie it in properly. And as you hear, the fans are going crazy. So I need to get myself a, some new lights. I think overall the soft boxes uh, make make a difference in the picture quality. To be honest, and uh, yeah, since it's St. Patrick's Day, let's have a Guinness. Cheers, guys. So, tying in the silk, I put my monster gloves on. As always, I don't want to ruin the shine of the silk.
tight turns. And then another one. There we are. So securing the silic. There we are. And then tying the silk, tying in the silk. And for all you Swedish guys out there, or Norwegian or Danish, uh, I'm wearing my new shirt uh, from from Jim. He he's doing this uh, Flukfiske podden. It's a nice uh, pod to listen to. So if you don't know it by now, you just you know search for it. It's a nice one. So let me see, tying it into the gute, there we are, and then just cut off the silk. So now to the mission to select the proper topping, or tail actually. But first of all, I'm going to build up the foundation of the body to prepare. And that's a good start there. Okay. Okay, so the, the tail is ready. So we're going to place the tail. Somewhere here. Tie it in carefully. downwards a bit now it's much better good position as well going backwards Again, try to there we are. Now we got the good look. So I need to add a tinga ish. Feather. In this case, I use pitta because I got plenty of it. It's a really nice feather. I'm just trying to reshape it a little bit with my nails. And there's the feather. So cutting the part I don't want to tie in.
and then down. So, waxing the thread black because now it's time for the ostrich shard. foundation of wax to make sure the hand sticks perfect <laughs> so there we are. And what we need now it's a tinsel, and in this pattern is actually two tinsel. It's a Silver tinsel wide, flat, and it's a twist. But I'm gonna use embossed uh, instead of a regular um, flat. So let's see what I got here. The twist is over there. So cutting that one first. And then for the emboss, I take this one. Tying in the embossed tinsel, a few wraps from that side. Going back, and then it's time for the twist. Is 
in place. Just tying it in. And then going back again. Now it's time to seal for so starting with the uh, with brown. Just applying it to the thread. I don't do any uh, dubbing a uh, loop or whatever. I just do it on a single strand so I can pick it up later if I want to. little bit fluffy we're gonna have four different colors in this pattern and now for the body hackle so uh, claret Unfortunately, I don't have a really, really good uh, uh, tapered claret neck. So I have these Chinese ones and I have some other ones. Not sure which, which the best one or which are the worst. But this one is really bad. You know, let's look at it. So I might go with the other one, unless I can find a good feather in this one. Nah, this is just crap. So let's go with this one. It's not good as well, but it's at least a little bit better. <coughs> yeah. So just removing the fluffy stuff. Having a sip of Guinness. Guinness is uh, best in Ireland. Shouldn't drink it in a can or whatever. But uh, I'm forced to. So I'm just doubling the hackle before I tie it in. Feather. Sorry for that. So I'm ready to tie it in. last part. I'm 
there we are. So now I can tie it in. There we are. Looking good. So time for the next color of seal fur, which is let me see, pale blue. So let's start with a little bit here. So tying it in without getting the hackle. Adding some more. Cover. A little bit more. <clears throat> so there we are. So the next color. Silver is going to be claret. I use a medium claret instead of a dark claret. It's your state claret, but I, I like medium claret. So. Need to add some more there. A little bit more. I st still have the, the drying powder in this uh, first. Uh, removing that first.
then to the last uh, silver it's gonna be a uh, darky blue Brush it a little bit, taking out the seal fibers. So, what we start with now is uh, the embossed tinsel. get that one in place in a nice manner And then the second step is to add um, the twist. sure I go just after the embossed tinsel there we go Leftovers here. Then it's time for the hack yarn.
Here we are. Tying it in properly. Cutting off the leftovers of the attack kill. And I need to select good yellow from attack kill. So I'm gonna pass there until I find it. So Let's do it. Uh, it's gonna be a yellow front tackle on this one. So uh, I found a good feather. And I just gonna back the thread. There we are. Gonna back thread. Love that. So adding the hackle in place. Cutting off the front here. There we go. And a few turns with this one just to make sure we have a nice color of yellow. And the last one. Since I want the I want the yellow to be visible. Eh? Tying it in, secure it. Let me see, I need to remove the feathers there. There we are, secure. Uh, gonna change that turn. I want it to be closer. Let's see if I can do that. Very, very close. Here we are. the leftovers of that yellow feather and uh, waxing the thread there we are just folding it backwards tying it in to secure it that looks good and then we have the second front feather so Bit more wax. I 
mixing the thread again and then we're gonna do the last front tackle and for this one I'm just gonna do two turns Securing that part. And that's the body of a butcher. So that's basically how you tie the body of a butcher. It's a really, really lovely pattern. Uh, a pattern I really like. Uh, I tried it in a fishing in a fishing version earlier, so, so I thought, hey, let's do a frame fly as well. Yeah, because it's uh, much more visible than uh, since I tie on a bigger hook. So I hope you're uh, gonna enjoy this video and also for you uh, Swedish, Norwegian, Danish guys have a look at Flugfiske Podden. It's a friend of mine, uh, Jim, uh, who does it and uh, you find it on you know, um, Spotify uh, or yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna pass, pass, uh, paste the link in the description and uh, um, you can have a look at it. It's great. Uh, he does a good job there with the, with his friends uh, do, doing some podcasting here. Yeah? So next up is going to be uh, the wing of this fly. Um, it's a lovely wing as well. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to add a subscription button here and also a link to my other videos over here. Um, and if anything, if you want me to tie something let me know, add a comment, um, I don't mind a thumbs up, you know, and, and if you add a comment I always interact, I interact all comments, um, if you're new to this channel, hit the bell so you don't miss up my uh, new videos coming, I try to do at least a video a week, sometimes not, I'm away or sick of fishing, you know, uh, traveling, have vacation, I just have a life so I do my best to try to uh, do as many videos as often I can and uh, I just added some soft boxes here so I think finally I improved the light however it's a fan in the, uh, the lamp itself so I need to buy new lamps without the fan uh, so hopefully that's going to be perfect uh, and uh, yeah let me know what you think is it good or bad it, what about the light you know come on so see you in the next video i'm gonna start tomorrow uh, doing the wing and um, yeah that's it basically see you